on New Era. Run that. What's happening? Big Avo, I'm in here with DJ New Era, iHeartRadio. Y'all go listen to that on God. Gang. Bitches on my dick back then ain't right back. They ain't right, bitch, I'm the dick. shit where the wipes at. Ayy, they about the shit that they taught us in tight. Call it all slap his ass, he ain't fight back. Ayy, sip a good drink, big cup, shit gon' lean. Stay on my stick, never lonely. Ayy, I catch you, I'll touch you. All right, back, back again. iHeartRadio, New Era TV, the heavy hit in the building. Got my dog in the building, man. Only been rapping for a year. Born in Mobile, but raised in Birmingham. I want to call him the Buster Rhymes of this new age shit, man, because his punchlines are crazy. Big Yavo's in the building. What's up, man? What happening? How you feeling, dog? Good. You on time for the interview, man. For sure. I like that shit, man. Sure. Born in Mobile, but raised in Birmingham. For sure. So why'd you move to Birmingham? Um, I moved to Birmingham because my mama had moved out here. Like she ain't like she ain't like Mobile. She ain't like it. No. Nah. Do you have any like any childhood memories? From over here? Yeah, I mean, I went to school like a couple of years down there, but not like, like I went to, I think I went to um, elementary school for like two, three years, and mm-hmm. I went to uh, high school for one year. Okay. And middle school for one year. So I was like bouncing back and forth for real from over here to Birmingham. So what age were you when you moved to Birmingham? Like fourth grade. Yeah. So what do you think about Birmingham as of now when you first moved? Well, let's do that when you first moved. I feel like it's still the same now. Ain't nothing changed about it? No, because it's been violent. Yeah. And it's still violent. West side of Birmingham. Yeah. So I'm thinking Inslee, right? Yeah. So you finished at Inslee High or what? No, Inslee one in. They, when they two in the oh, So that was years ago then. That's the old Yeah, Inslee. they been two in So where'd you go to high school later? J.O. J.O. Yeah. You play ball, football? No, I play baseball. Baseball? Yeah. Shit, that's new oh, to me. Right? Fuck it, baseball. <laughs> For real, though. All right. Like, that's what I wanted to do. I ain't want to rap. I wanted to play baseball. Damn. Really? No cap. All right. So, what was it like growing up on the west side of Birmingham? Mm, I feel like shit. I feel like it what you make out of it. I ain't going to say it's just bad. Because you ain't got to be where the bad shit at, for real. Mm. But it's, a, you feel me? Shit, it's the, it's the same everywhere in Birmingham. I feel like stuff for like Hoover, shit like that. But I just be it. trying to stay out of the way. Fact. What was your yeah. life like before the music career took off? I would just, I just be chilling, like I'm a chill person. Like you know me, like shit. I'm funny for real, for real. Funny, chill, cool dude. That's it. How'd you get the name Yavo? It like the street, the street I had grew up on, like in, um down here, forty first, and it was Valley Road. Like they used to call air, they they used to put a low at the end of everybody's name. Okay, but. I ain't, you couldn't, that shit ain't sound right with mine. They just put an O on mine, so it was Yavo. All right. Did you have any family members, like, to guide you at a young age before you got into this music industry? Yeah, for sure. My auntie, my grandma, and my mama. Okay. What was one li- one life lesson you learned while growing up? Um, um, don't depend on nobody, shit. Get out, get it how you can. Yeah. All right, so I heard you only been rapping for a year. Yeah. How does that feel to only been rapping for a year and right now you're the hottest thing coming out? This that stuff, shit bro. feel good. Like, I was just looking at everybody else like, damn, they, they hard, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just like this recently, though. Like, I ain't do no open mic, none of that shit. I just started rapping. <laughs> they and they jump right with to it. it. <laughs> what motivated you to start rapping? Because there was some people that can't rap. And they far, they like, they doing real good. Like, my, I ain't, you feel me, talking about nobody number that. Just my opinion, like, um, like some people can't rap and they doing, they they making a lot of money shit. Mm. And I feel like I could do the shit too. So before rap, what was your full time? Shit. Trapping. I used to work too, though. What about? Walmart. Which one? Um, 280. 280 shit. Uh, you don't want to trap over there, goddamn. No, nah, I used to be, no. Nah, I'm saying like just after work type shit. So I used to be on a real early shift. So I really had my whole day to myself for real. Yeah, so who were some rappers that influenced you growing up? Chief Keef, Dirt, Boosie. Mm. Street niggas. Shit like that. Real niggas, man. Yeah. How would you describe your music style? Turn. Like, you ain't going to too much care me in my feeling. You might care me in my feeling every now and then, you feel me? 
Probably had like one song in my feelings on the tape, but shit, other than that, I just be trying to just go in for I be geek, like all the drugs. <laughs> I ain't gonna say drugs, all the weed. I just going out, like just have fun. So I feel like you listening to me gonna you gonna have fun too, shit. Or you should be having fun while you listening to me. Fab. So do you write any of your rhymes? No. Yeah. I wrote like two songs and only one of them out. Which one's that? You probably ain't heard of Derrick Henry. I ain't heard that yeah. yeah, that's the only song I wrote other than that. I ain't yeah. wrote shit. You had a show at our uh, club, uh, Plush Y DJ, on Saturdays, and um, your homeboy gave me a record called Inslee. Inslee shit? Yeah. yeah. Is that out? Yeah. On, on what platforms? I, I couldn't it find it. ain't on no platform. It was like, that's the first song I shot a video to. In I just changed the name of it okay. to Big Yabo. Dope, dope, dope. That's when my name was 41st Yabo. 41st Yabo? Yeah. Why'd you change it, though? Cause it's a forty first on the east side too, and I ain't want fold you feel me? Oh, like misunderstand okay. no shit like that. So I just trained my shit to be Gabo. So I checked out the song No Pen. So that's off the top of the head, right? No pen. Dope, dope, dope. Punchline. How you coming with your punchlines in your music, man? Shit, see me like when I was young, I used to watch TV a lot, so I know a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, every time I'm in the studio, I just get to thinking about shit. I probably look at something. Like, if I were recording right now, I'd say some shit. Like, I just look at something, you feel me? Then when I say that, I already got something. Now I got to rhyme with that. Now I'm thinking about something. I know. I'm finna put and you on shit. the spot right you now. Then. All right, so look at your cell phone. Just give me something off the top. Talk about your cell phone. Um, shit. You call me then. <laughs> My cell phone. <laughs> Shit, I'm trying to make like a hundred. No, I'm trying to make 85 plays on my cell phone. I had to merge like three calls. Ooh, damn, I, should, I <laughs> fucked up. I was finna say some fire, though. I ain't okay. I, I fucked up, though. I ain't okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Yavo was in the building, man. What's one thing you regret not doing early when it comes to the music? Rapping. Shit, like taking it serious. I used to always like being in the cafeteria, like being on the desk, Mm-hmm. Plan, but I ain't never take it serious. I feel like I, if I would have been star rapping, I'd be further than where I'm at right now. Though, right, what's the music scene like in Birmingham? Hard, like it, it's a lot of people that that's just too hard, like that just around me, mm-hmm. like where I'm from. It's a lot of people that hard for, but I feel like everybody starting to you feel me realize like Birmingham. What's one thing you feel like is missing when it comes to Alabama artists? When it comes to that unity, man. To help us grow more. Nigga don't be want to link for real. Mm. I'll link with a nigga though. You feel me? Like, let get some real bad shit you did. Like, I don't charge everybody for feature. Like, it's a couple nigga get a free feature. Just if I link with you and I feel like I just see it in you, like, you're a real nigga. Like, I won't charge you nothing. Or if some people I get discounts, you feel me? Like, I don't just out the top, out the top tax nobody or nothing. Mm. I be trying to see where, you, where, you, where your head at too. Like, I'm a down earth ass nigga for real, for real. But niggas really don't be trying to link. For real. So how did you link up with uh, Cinco and Lil' Soldier? Shit, Cinco, like, when I first, first started rapping, Cinco had inboxed me on Facebook. And he was like, boy, you hard as fuck. And that blew me just for Cinco to just tell me, feel me, but that's how I knew bro 100 o'clock. He, just, he ain't had to do that. Like, he right, just right. tell me, like, you, boy, you hard as fuck. Keep going. You got that shit. It was like when I, I ain't had no music out, though. Mm. Like, just a thriller type shit. You feel me? Right, right. And yeah, shit, then I was linked with bro. Like, he, bro, real cool. Real How about cool. Lil Soldier? Um, he, um, I linked with Soldier probably like about a couple months back. It been a minute now, though. Okay. So, how do you feel knowing that you're a part of the new wave when it comes to Alabama? When people hear Alabama, they got to say your name now. That shit feel good for real. Just to even be compared to anybody else in Alabama because. Everybody else that's popping in Alabama right now, I feel like they hard as fuck too. Mm. So that shit feel good for me to be in the conversation with them. Okay. But I want to go further though. Where you see yourself living at when it comes to this music shit two years from now? Living? Yeah. I don't know. You saying like the area? The area, because you say you want to go further than Alabama, so you got to change your living situation as far as it, even if you still live here. Mm-hmm. Shit, probably like Texas. Why Texas? I've been out there and it it, it look it, it's real nice out there. Either Texas or um or um Atlanta. All right. So tell tell the fans that's watching, man, and listening what to expect when they go to a Big Yavo show. 
just real vibes like female throwing ass. <laughs> nigga turnt sweating. Probably spill something on you. Like, it's just going to be turnt. Like, that's the vibes I give you. But I'm finna switch it up, though, because, like, all right, you feel me? Like, lately, I done, ha- I done got a bad image for real, for real. So I'm, I'm yeah. finna try to switch it up for real. Like, I ain't gonna have too many, I ain't gonna have no guns in none of my video no more, like, none of that shit. Cause it's a lot of young people that look up to me, you feel right, me? Right. And my mom, be just, she be on to me about that shit. Like, you gotta, all right, you did this enough. Like, it's time to, mm-hmm. you feel me, hit them with some motion. I feel it too, so. You mentioned the word guns when it comes to your videos. Yeah. Uh, how does that work, man? Um, you shooting videos in the hood. I mm-hmm. know the motherfuckers loaded. Yeah. The camera guy, uh, Niles Bryant, yeah. that's my dog. Like, yeah. how does it affect him when he's gotten when he's got like twenty like, some guns in his see, face? Like Niles, Niles know us though. Like once, like him, I ain't gonna say like he know us no, but he didn't been around all us enough to feel comfortable. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like we ain't just know we got guns, but we ain't just finna just sh- kill you just for no reason. You feel me? <laughs> and ain't like we be hey go get your gun. Everybody had their gun on them, and we finna shoot a video. Everybody gonna pull that shit out. You so feel me? So it's mandatory to have guns in the video. It's not mandatory. It's just right there. Okay. It's there anyway. Fact, fact. Nigga got that. You feel me? If we shooting a video or not? So that's so, your main camera guy right now for all your shit. For sure. Here y'all, Niles and Aze. Dope. So you did a show in Birmingham. And it ended in violence. Um, the little baby show. Yeah. How did that affect you when it came down to that? Cause that was your first I wasn't show, even much show, around right? the shit. Like, I was in the back with Sink on them. Okay. We in the locker room shooting dice and shit. Somebody had, I think, who came back there? I think I want to say Dooley came back there. Like, but them folks just went to shooting that hoe. <laughs> I'm like, you lying in here? He was like, on God, on stage. Dooley the done, right? Dooley, Dooley. Is no, it? he truckload. Truckload. Okay, so yeah. there's a lot of ours. I'm not familiar with yeah. truckload. T L E Petty. Okay, I know Petty. Yeah, yeah. You, you came in the plus about about thirty deep for that show you just had recently, uh, man. I went thirty deep. Man, dude, I, look, I was DJing that shit. I went thirty deep though. How many folks came with you? Probably about fifth, about fifteen. Cinco then was up there too. Man, Cinco and came out people. of nowhere. I ain't even know Cinco was. They there. people was up there too though. So do you feel it's necessary to come with a big entourage for a show? No. That shit just be right there, too. Like, if I have a show, like, on the outskirts, I ain't going to be that deep. Mm. You feel me? Like, probably, like, six of my homeboys come five. Probably ain't four. But if we in the hood, like, plus that shit ain't that shit down the street. Mm-hmm. So everybody going to come. They going to pull up for you. Yeah. Hey, uh, dope. Just dope. to be there. So you signed to Cinematic and Soldier Life, right? Yeah. How'd that situation come about? Um, Cinematic, that shit. Fabo. Like, Fable had hit me on, like, a while back and had locked me in with them. And then I just linked, you know, that soul like, that's him and the soul shit. And I feel like they would fuck with me, so I did that shit, too. But we gon' this shit finna be real big, though. You got some else lined up? Yeah, I got my own shit going on, too. What's the name of it? GG. Okay, so you got your own label, basically. Yeah. You got artists you putting out? Um, yeah, I'm finna sign some, I'm finna try to sign some more artists, but, uh, a little heat, he fuck with me too. That's my nigga right there, good yeah. dude, man. He came up here and did one with me. Solid, man. Yeah, that's my little brother right now. How many other offers were on the table before Cinematic, you know, came to you? Probably like two, three. It was like, yeah, about two, three. They want to talk about I shit. I got a lot now, though. Yeah, they want to talk about hell now. They want to talk about shit. Has anybody like Gucci Man, somebody that reached out to you on a bigger, bigger platform? To Gucci sign? Man, I'll see it, hell. I'll see it. How'd that conversation go? Good. He was talking about something too. It just we ain't never get further in the conversation. Type mm-hmm. shit. You know how that shit be. So you got a new record out right now called Miami Heat. Uh it's got Lil Heat in it, Lil Soldier. And y'all shot it in Miami. Mm-hmm. Who put that 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 combination together with those three types of art two types of artists? Fabo. Okay. You saying like who put all those on who the song? Yeah. Yeah. I really it probably I don't I don't even want to just say Fabo, but shit. It just that sh- I think all of us just in the studio. Like we be together, so mm. I, it really wasn't in favor. We just I was in the studio, oh, and hopped on that hoe for real. Lil Heat, man, that's my nigga. Like you said, it's your brother. How how did y'all link up? I been knowing him like since high school. Cool little dude. I, like I been knowing him like he been around in the hood and shit. All right, so the mixtape is out. Is it a mixtape or an album? Cause it's on that piff right now. What? Uh, on God. Yeah, it's, it's a mixtape. It's a mixtape. Who did the artwork, man? J- John Exotic. Why'd you name it On God? 
Cause I meant everything I said on there. Mm. And like when I mean what I say, I be putting it on God. Punchlines, man. <laughs> all day, all day. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we do this thing on the show called Straight from the Heart, man, where I ask you a set of questions and you give me your honest opinion, man. Your honest answer. All right, best piece of advice you've ever got. Um best piece of advice I got. Money change people. Mm. Worst piece of advice. Um, stop rapping. Damn, who told you that shit? My mama. <laughs> yeah, tell mama, look. No, she ain't say going. stop rapping. She told me she, well, she ain't really ain't, she just I I feel like she ain't think that shit was gonna, gonna pop work this fast. Yeah. Alright, so do you believe in paying for features right now? Being that you're on a bigger bigger platform. Damn, that's a good ass question. I don't. So you wouldn't pay for a dog for no feature. None of that. No. Mm. If I do a feature, I ain't saying like I don't want to work with nobody, but right now, like I don't feel like I should pay nobody for no feature. It should mm. be on some linked up type linked shit. Up, like, yeah, help, help niggas Not saying I'm shit. better than nobody, none of that. I just feel like I want to get where I'm at on, on some out the mud shit. Mm. Like just me. Like I don't need nobody. I don't want nobody. Like, oh, he popped because of this person or none of that mm. shit. You know how, you feel me? If I do, a, a, like, a feature with somebody, it's because the label did it or some shit. They run a play. Not, so not no local artist or nothing like that, but I'm saying, like, a major artist or something. How much is a verse going for right now from you? Uh, 1000 Okay. 1500 something like that. That's on the strength But right that there. just. That's on the strength right there, though. But I be showing love, too, though. Like, that mm -hmm. ain't no firm price. Like, I'll probably. Yeah, you got uh, a song out, man, with my with one of my homeboys, Hard Body. Hard body. Yeah, hard body shark. You know what it is? Well, how the song go? I can't. He let me hear a snippet of it, but you want it. Yeah. You want it's it. a lot of. I've been doing a lot of features lately. Okay. So I don't really. Dope. All right, so which side is the most active, man? West side or the east side? Uh, I ain't going to get into all that shit, though. <laughs> all, right. all right. Whoever feel like they thugging shit, they thugging it. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, God. <laughs> Y'all thugging. Everybody thinking nowadays shit. All right, so why being the man made a statement saying that he put Alabama on the map? How do you feel about that, man? I don't feel like he did none of that. Cause if that the case, you saying like you helped somebody, mm. ain't it? Like you saying you much. Put, but you ain't helped nobody from Alabama. Mm. They just he probably saying he gave it the, the look that it has. Right? No, man, I, everybody. I feel like everybody made a way they sell. Cause you can drop something on World Star. World Star got like twenty one million. That shit might not do nothing. It's all about who you feel me. Who know who you? Who the person you yeah, is? Like yeah. what kind of you feel me? What advice do you have for artists that want to be where you are today? Just goddamn believe in yourself. Like even when you, I be seeing a lot of people. You want to give up? Like a lot of people that stop rapping, stop hooping, just anything. Like just when you. Feel like you ain't got that shit no more. You post it. Keep going. Go crazy. Right. All right. One album you can listen to the rest of your life. Like period. Like anybody. Yeah. Well, just one one of your favorite albums. Just one album you can listen to the rest of your life and just never get rid of that shit. You got the original hard copy of that shit. You saying like an artist? Yeah. That knew no cap. Okay. Oh my, that shit hard as fuck. Like, how is y'all relationship? You and no cap. I mean, we ain't just close as fuck, but I've I been knowing him, like, you feel me? I How'd that record him. come about with our Rallo? Uh, we just, uh, I've been knowing Rallo too. Like, I just had, I was trying to goddamn get something in with him, but I had, we posted a Ben did a song. I think I had fell asleep or that's some how, that's shit. That's how you know that nigga working, goddamn. He got so much shit lined up. I had fell asleep or some shit. And then I had told him I was in the city. He told me to pull up. I had walked in the studio. He was already making that hoe. Damn. I'm like, I know, I know we ain't finna do that hoe too hard. <laughs> I know he ain't finna put me on that hoe. He probably, I think I was, I'm like probably gonna do something after this or some shit. I went to sleep, woke me up, be like trying to hop on that hoe. I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah, hopping on that hoe. That's what's Just, up. Like right then, shit, bro, 100 too. Yeah. So what new yeah. projects you got coming out? Anything new? Yeah. Album. Me and La Soldier got a. Uh, Mixtape from the drop on the 28th called Gorilla Warfare. I just come up with that name. Because I be on some Gorilla shit and he on some soldier shit, Gorilla Warfare. You feel me? All right. Combine the two. Like, we, that's why I was saying, like, we finna have some, this shit finna take off real soldier life. GG. All right. So. And I got another tape finna come out too. Probably. 
next month or something. Fourth and one. Working. Why that name? Because I'm 41st Street. Okay. And fourth and one. I'm going for it. They can putting it on the map. Yeah, I'm man. going for it. All day. So COVID-19 came in March. How has that affected your grind, being that you've only been out for almost a year right now? What ways are you doing? I mean, what are some of the ways you're doing to stay active when it comes to reaching your fans and stuff? Ain't really affect me none, cause I had like you said, like I just started. I wasn't getting, I was having shows and shit before Corona, but I wasn't getting paid like that much, mm. so I wasn't really tripping on not getting having no show, cause I'll get like five hundred something, but not me getting this amount. You feel me? But it ain't is everything that on back up now that I'm popping so shit. Mm. It really ain't affect me for real. Yeah. All right, last question, man. Give me some words to live by, some positive words. Shit. Keep going out now. Because it's, it's a lot of shit I'm going through right now, and I'm still smiling, still doing what I'm doing. And I know it's some shit that folks going through way worse than me. Mm-hmm. So, shit, keep going. All right, man. Big Yevo is in the building, man. New project out right now on God. New single is out, Miami Heat. And I saw you. I saw you on the boat, man. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Turn masked up on the boat, man. Give out your social media. Tell folks how to reach you, and tell folks how to book you, man. Um, Instagram, Big underscore Yavo. Facebook, Big Yavo. Twitter, Big Yavo. I just made a Twitter. Just made a Twitter. Go follow me on Twitter, Big Yavo, and you can book me. You gotta go through KC, Coach K, man, or Fabo. But you probably gotta go through KC for real. Fabo be tied up. And get the uh, KC on Instagram. It's in my Instagram bio. How you get that? Go follow me on Instagram. Oh, man. Big Yavo on the building, man. New Era TV, 8-3 Entertainment. Thank you for coming through, dog. For sure.